in Washington, where President-elect Joe Biden is working to fill his cabinet. Actually, I think he's in Delaware. He's expected to name his health team, including the Secretary of Health and Human Services and his Surgeon General, by Monday. Joining us now to discuss the transition is Bloomberg Politics Editor Wendy Benjaminson. Wendy, always great to have you join us. The Biden team clearly very active over the, over the past few weeks. They've put together a task force to address COVID-19. They filled out some top roles in D.C. with the economic team. What about President Trump? What has he been up to as Biden gets ready to take over, especially when it comes to managing COVID? Well, not much in terms of managing COVID, and thanks for having me on the show. The um, He doesn't seem to be focused on the virus at all very much now. He delivered a 46-minute video address yesterday that was all about the um, – the, his claims that are unproven of election fraud and how the the election needs to be overturned. Um, he is also planning holiday parties and had an event at the White House today to give a Medal of Freedom to Lou Holtz, and, uh, an old football coach. Um, and he, uh, the no one in the room was wearing masks or social distancing or anything like that. So they are still the Trump administration is still very much. Um, ignoring the virus. Okay, so it it feels like a different reality there. I want to go back to what you said about how he is still uh, worked up about the 2020 election, calling it a fraud. It seems like some of his more loyal staff are starting to distance themselves away from that uh, that claim, including Attorney General William Barr. Yes, um, the Attorney General did say the other day that he has seen no evidence of election fraud to an extent that it could possibly overturn the election. That shows that the attorney general is in touch with reality. And um, he, now he may be in trouble for that. He had a long meeting yesterday at the White House. They say it was pre-planned. We don't know what the substance of it was. And today, at that medal event that I was just describing, the president was asked whether he still had confidence in Bill Barr. And he took a long pause and said, ask me again in a number of weeks. Well, the administration only has seven more weeks until Joe Biden is sworn in as president. So we'll see what happens. But he doesn't seem very happy with the attorney general today. What about when it comes to stimulus? We know that the different uh, senators are out there. They're trying to work some kind of compromise deal out. And one uh, President Trump ally, Lindsey Graham, is now in favor, apparently, of the bipartisan $900 billion proposal. Is President Trump invested in getting something done before the year end? I don't know what the president's uh, thinking is on that. Um, Graham seems to suggest that the president's on board with it. Um, he was he was also at this event today and talked to him about it. But that is one area where there is some hope for you know bipartisan uh, work getting done. Uh, Mitch McConnell and Nancy Pelosi just spoke um, about it and seem to be, you know, getting closer to a deal. There are many Republicans who are behind this. The, the Democrats have come down in price. The Republicans have come up in price of the bill. And that's sort of the way it always used to work. Mm -hmm. um, so it's it's looking, that is looking hopeful that that will pass before the end of the year and get to people who are suffering from the from the pandemic. All right, we'll keep an eye out for that one. And of course, you'll update us as we go along. Vice President-elect Kamala Harris also putting together her staff. She's announced uh, that the top three jobs are all women, a stark contrast to what we've seen with Vice President Mike Pence and his crew. What's the message the incoming administration is sending to the country? Well, the, the incoming administration has been working very hard to live up to their pledge that they would form a government that looked like America. And while there is a lot of gender parity in the Trump administration, um, they're, they're really, they're almost entirely white people who work in the administration. Um, and the Biden-Harris administration is apparently working very hard to not only have women in jobs that weren't in jobs, historically before, like vice president and treasury secretary. Um, and also they're, they're giving a lot of um, staff jobs to a more diverse group of people. And today, Vice President-elect Kamala Harris, the first woman, the first person of color, the first Indian American to hold the job of vice president, um, also named her top three staffers, her domestic policy advisor, her national security advisor, and her chief of staff, and they're all women. Mm -hmm. Now, it could be that as senator, she had a lot of women working for her. That's fairly typical. And she brought people over. But these, these are serious people who are taking the job. Wendy Benjaminson, thank you so much for joining us. Bloomberg Politics Editor, keeping us up to date on what's happening 
in Washington. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.